So today we're going to check out an EV charger at the first Ampol Foodery service station here in Queensland. So stay with me. Hi everyone, I'm Greg from Electric Car Australia, the Aussie YouTube channel that looks at electric vehicles and sustainable living technologies from a practical perspective. So today I'm really excited. We're at Ampol Foodery Castle Dine here in Brisbane. It's on Gympie Road, uh, which basically turns into the Bruce Highway heading north out of Brisbane. And the first ABB charger has gone into Ampol here as part of the ARENA funding package the federal government put together. So let's have a look around. So as I mentioned, a really busy spot here, right on Gympie Road on the outskirts of Brisbane. So this uh, highway heads north. So if you're heading up to the Sunshine Coast, this is the way you'll come through, unless you come off the Gateway Motorway, of course, um, then you'll go a different route. But this is one of the main routes and this is the Ampol Foodery on the left hand side as you're leaving Brisbane. So the perfect place to top up with a rapid charge to head north. So really nice location. We've obviously got the full service station uh, facilities there. We've got two really clearly marked bays. As you can see, we've got a local, I was just having a chat, he lives around this area. He's um, topping up there with the CCS charger on the Tesla Model 3. This is the Electric Car Australia Mighty MG. So um, depending on how long the guy stays with the Model 3, we might also test the charge we can get. So as we mentioned, the normal full service station type services available here. So you've got toilets, food, you can get your milk and all that sort of stuff. Um, and there is some further shops down uh, just around on the left hand side there. But let's have a look at these chargers. So these are an ABB charger and Ampol's currently providing free chargers up until the end of next month, which is end of August, I think. Um, and you'll see there later on, I'm assuming there's going to be an app or there's going to be an RFID card. Now there we can see the capacities. So on CCS, the maximum that this charger can output is 180 kilowatts. On Chatamo's 125. And the gentleman with the uh, Model 3 is currently getting about 74 kilowatts, he said. Um, so interested to see what we can get on the Mighty MG if we plug that in. Coming down, we've obviously got the emergency stop button and there's an RF RFID touchpad there. That's our Chatamo plug, so that's for our uh, Japanese EVs. So the Nissan Leaf, the Mitsubishi IMAV and the plug-in hybrid electric Outlander. And that's where our CCS socket goes, which is currently in the Model 3 charging. And as I mentioned, uh, this funding is part of the ARENA funding. So look, these are a nice, neat looking uh, charger. There's some stats there. I'll put those up on the screen actually. We can hear the fans running, the cooling fans in there, drawing some air in the side there. But look, a nice compact charger. Um, let's hope the reliability is a little bit better. Um, we're doing a video on charger reliability, particularly uh, rapid charge reliability here in Australia. And if the video has already gone out, I'll put a link to it above. If not, um, please click that subscribe button on our channel and you can check that out when it comes out. But the tritium chargers recently, we've had a few issues with those being out of action due to various reasons. So let's hope the ABB are a little bit more reliable. I can feel that cable warm, so I don't think these would be water-cooled cables. And I don't have my little laser thermometer in the car, unfortunately. We could have zapped that and just seen the, the temperature on it. Um, interestingly, the Chatamo cable can see that there the Chatamo cable is a lot thicker than the CCS. Interesting. 
somebody with more technical knowledge than me will be able to tell us why that is. Um, but the Chatamo cable, that looks like a petrol pump hose, whereas um, the CCS is, is smaller. Maybe something to do with voltages. So as I mentioned, this is the first charger to go in in Queensland. Um, there's been one going in New South Wales, I believe in Alexandria. Um, that opened a couple of weeks ago and Tesla Tom's got a uh, great video on that one. So I'll include a link in the show notes to that. So please go and check out Tesla Tom's video. Um, he covers off the ins and outs of the, um, the location in Alexandria where it is um, and a little bit more about the charger, etc. as well. Um, but just a short video today, really excited to have this open in Queensland, looking forward to many more of these, um, so it's really going to help out us EV drivers, particularly at these rapid charges where you're on the road, you're doing road trips and you need to be able to drop in, go to the toilet, grab a sandwich, a coffee, come back out and your car's fully charged. So that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. If you'd like to flick us a couple of dollars, I'll put the Patreon link below and also the PayPal link. Other than that, guys, please stay safe, look after your friends and family, and we'll talk soon. Cheers.